Right, I'm a bit poorly and I had to get out of bed. Um, unfortunately, I was trying to get through to LBC. Um, <coughs> there's a really bad presenter there. I don't, I don't like the presenter called Christo. I really don't like him. And um, one of the reasons is because I think he has narcissistic personality disorder. And uh, it's all coming from him. It's all about him. He, he tries to be interesting and good, but he doesn't make it because he just doesn't have the empathy that it needs to see the bigger pictures and, and feel the empathy for, for your country and your soldiers and your servicemen. Um, he seems to focus on his own little group. And that really bothers me. Um, I had some uh, advice for, for him and the callers to, because they were talking about the news and ISIS and, and beheadings. And it, it, there was a, a reporter on, I'm not sure what sort of commentator he was. It was, it was a, a report. A report uh, that said, uh, the person speaking said that um, the he inferred that the different identities were what was causing the war, was causing the attacks. And uh, it's not. It, that's a dodge. It's an absolute dodge. It, it isn't identities. Identity is what everybody has. It, it's not identity at all. And I'm talking as someone who's been a Buddhist uh, for a long time, or understands Hinduism and Buddhism, Catholicism and uh, uh, Scientology and you name it, you know, I studied a very long time. And uh, the thing is, it, it really isn't identity. I've also studied identity at university. Um, it's, uh, what it is, is the psychology. It's narcissistic personality disorder. And I believe that they didn't want to take this call because this guy, this presenter himself, is probably a sufferer of it. They're thinking, well, we won't let this smart ass on the radio because she's going to make Christo look like a cunt. Because, pardon me, I think he is one. Take me to court, Christo. So, um, anyway, this is what I wanted to go on the radio to raise awareness of narcissistic personality disorder and psychopathy that causes the wars. There was a chap on, a Scottish chap earlier, who was... Um, a uh, Buddhist, and he was great, put some wonderful points. It was really nice to hear him. And uh, it was nice to hear a sensible caller on there. I could hear his tension, though, to dealing with somebody like Christo. He's just not, um, he's just not sophisticated enough um, for, the, for the radio at night. I, I won't be listening to LBC at night anymore until he's gone or he's somewhere else. You know, I'm, I'm going to be back to, to R4 and... Uh, Radio London and other stations while that chap is there because he's really not nice. I don't like him. So um, he's probably really nice in his own little world, but not in my world, which is, is one that's just, it's not just about me and my friends and my, my set and my flat. It's about the world. It's about other people. It's about all different people. And I think he likes to think he's about that as well, but I don't think so. I think he needs to address his personality disorder first. So, sorry about that, Christo. I'm a behaviorist, and I'm not very well, but I'm a behaviorist, and I'm a well-trained one, and y you can challenge me on that any time, okay? Um, meantime, uh, please know uh, to the VIP who listens to me, please get it out there that it's the narcissistic personality disorder that causes the, the violations, the exploitation of the vulnerable people which the, which, the, which the Scottish guy was quite right in saying that it's the vulnerable people that would go out there that are lured into this sort of thing. And uh, people have been hurt, and uh, people who want to put things right, and uh, people who maybe haven't had that much experience of the world, you know. So it, it, it is important that you get it right. It's not about identity.